Morning, YouTubies. How's it going? All right, today I'm having, I made yesterday some homemade baked fried chicken. Usually I, when I have chicken legs, I just put barbecue sauce on them and put, put them in the oven. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, sort of thing. Yesterday I decided to mix it up because I, I don't want to do the same thing all the time. I like, when I cook meals, I like to at least once to a couple times a week do something different. Some things I have, you know, the standard things like on Wednesday nights we usually have the Red Baron French bread pizzas because dad has church on Wednesday nights so he needs to eat a little bit earlier so he can go to church or thing. And those are easy to fix. I just pop them in the oven for a few minutes and or what you know, whatever it says on the package. Done. You know. So that's our, kind of our standard Wednesday meals. And of course I usually um at least once every week or every other week have spaghetti, you know stuff like that. Well this time I decided to mix things up when making the chicken legs and okay you lost your skin that's what it was I thought that was like why did it white they don't look so pretty now I intend to bring a plate I forgot to get a plate so anyway Come on, let me get chicken leg out here oh they're messy leg so yeah um you know it's your standard flour uh onion powder salt pepper and then i added some well, i meant to add thyme and i forgot thyme i agree with myself because i forgot that i was gonna add other spices too and i forgot them but um i added a little bit of just a little bit of cayenne pepper. I think that was it. For this time. It came out good. But I think next time I'm going to actually. Write down what spices I want to put in. So I remember what to put in. I have a standard recipe. Mm. And then I baked them at. I think it was 325 for 40 minutes. They came out good. Both Dad and Anthony liked it. It's like, oh, good. Anytime I can make something that they like, it, it's a good deal. <laughs> so far, ever since Mom has died seven months ago, Dad's only complained about, like, I think, like, three things that I fixed. One, I fixed chili dogs one night. Hang on, let me get a bite. Mmm. Well, that hot. Mm. A little bit spicy. I think next time I need a put a little bit less spice in it. And here, I brought Tapatio to possibly put on some of it. I don't know if I put that on or not. I might put some on here, man. But yeah, so far dad has only complained about one night I made chili dogs because he's not a hot dog fan. I, I can understand that. That's okay. Now everybody's a hot dog fan. I'm not so much anymore. I used to like them when I was younger. But the taste of them to me has changed so much over the years. So I get it. The other thing was we bought some, I don't even remember what brand, but Salisbury steaks from the store in the freezer section. He didn't like those. I get it because I didn't like them either. It's like 
Ian and I in past have gotten that same brand. I think it's that same brand, but we've gotten Salisbury steaks in the past and they were a lot better. They had a lot more gravy on them and were a lot better. All three of us didn't like the Salisbury steaks. So that I could get. And then the other thing was I made some homemade chili one night and I accidentally put in too much spice. I, I have a habit of actually putting in, just like with this, too much spice. <laughs> and I'm not a spice fan. I don't, I'm not a spice girl. <laughs> but I accidentally make everything spicy. So I think that's the only three things I can think of that he really... Kind of, sort of complained about. He, did, he didn't really complain, complain, but he just kind of comments like, you know, not really fond of this or that. So, like, okay. Mm. Just wish I remembered to bring a freaking plate. I am going to try it with a little bit of tapatio. What's the other hot sauce? The, um, I can't remember what brand it is. But the other hot sauce, this is the kind I usually get. For some reason, I got tapatio this time, which I'm okay with it. As long as it tastes good, I'm okay with it. Brought some milk. Ah, I, I, hey, I just realized it's spicy. Milk will help tone down the spice. <laughs> I don't think of that. I just think I needed to finish off the milk. So, before it goes bad, so good, but I don't want to take a chance of it going bad. All right, I am gonna. I always love how hot sauces smell. I don't always like how they taste because they got, depending on which brand it is, some of them have more of a vinegary taste to them. Gosh, I can't remember the name of that other brand. I was going to drive me nuts now. I hate that when I'm trying to think of something and I can't think of it. I'll think of it later when I'm not thinking of it. Uh, excuse me. Okay. Back here. Sorry for the squeal. <clears throat> come on, come out. Oof. Come. <clears throat> oh, I hope this is not going to be firing me up too much. Got that vinegary taste, but same time has a little different flavor to it. I think I might use that in here soon, make some hot wings. Which I'm pretty sure dad won't eat them, but maybe me and Anthony could. Oh my gosh, that's hot. Yeah, hot sauce. Yeah, I get it. It's hot. Oh, oh my gosh. My tongue is on fire. <sighs> oh. One of the chicken dinners I made here recently, I made some chicken enchiladas for the first time. They didn't turn out quite as I had planned because I guess I was supposed to have the smaller, not the not street taco size uh, tortillas, but the next size up, well, I had the large tortillas. So here I am trying to cram those filled tortillas into a pan. It didn't go well. 
they turned out, you know, when I baked it, everything, it tasted okay. It just, the whole thing didn't look pretty. It looked scrunched. Mm. But yeah, if, if any of you ever want to try making something like this, very simple. Like I said, all I did was garlic powder, salt, um, pepper, and then I added a little bit of cayenne pepper. I can't remember. I don't know what the measurements were. Measurements were I just kind of threw it together. Maybe I need a measure next time. <clears throat> that might help. <laughs> and then on my a little toaster oven, I put it as 425 and baked them for 40 minutes. I didn't have to. I didn't turn them over or nothing. I just baked them for 40 minutes. Mm. And on the side it was one of the dishes, I guess you say. I fixed. I had some garlic buttered Texas toast, and I got where I like putting love. Well, not a lot, but I like putting shredded cheese on top, and then put it into toast. We have a toaster oven, so if you put it in the oven, I don't know how long. To heat that for and what temperature you may have to like google information on that or something i don't know on our toaster oven i put it in to <clears throat> to toast for four minutes i mean it come out good but yeah i've got where i like making the garlic cheesy bread out of it that's what i make it into Mm. That's good. According to the, I actually found the this idea. Well, I googled it first. The link that I clicked on, it took me to Reddit. And the post in Reddit gave um, all different kinds of variations of how to make fried or bake fried chicken. You know, different ways different people season their chicken. According to the thing, oh, let me back up for half a second. I dunked them in just a little bit of olive oil first. Then I rolled them in the flour seasoned mixture with the seasoning that I just mentioned. So I did have flour in it. I forgot about that too. <laughs> so I dunked them in oil to get them a good coating so the flour seasoning mix would um, stick to the drumsticks. Then I put them in a sprayed pan and then popped them in the oven. That makes sense, but um, yeah, it took me to Reddit and they had all kinds of different variations of uh, way different people make them. The way I made it, the way they talked, is supposed to come out crispy, kind of like KFC. Mine didn't come out crispy, it came out good, but it didn't come out crispy. So, I might need a if I want it crispy, I might have to do something a little different. I'm not sure. I'll have to check. But it still came out good. And my biggest worry was the chicken getting done all the way through. So it did. So that's my main thing. I don't like pulling it. I have actually pulled the chicken drumsticks out before and they're still partly slightly raw and bloody on the inside. And I have to put them back in, cook it for a little bit longer. So this I just put in for 40 minutes. Done. Not burnt. Nothing is perfect. 
Making quite the mess. All right, piece of bristle. Yeah. I got, I don't know if everybody has a country mart or in our town, it's people call it J and or. Not JD. G and W also. I don't know why it's called G and W and Country Mart. I don't know why. But anyway, I got it from Country Mart. The chicken legs. They have so much better looking meats and vegetables and fruits at Country Mart than they do at Walmart. Everything looks so much fresher. So that's where I got my chicken. So you might check around, see if there's any places where you can actually get yours where it looks better. So I like Walmart for a lot of things, but I got where I don't like it for some of their meats. Well, particularly like their chicken. And I've noticed that Country Mart has better looking seafood too. It's like, oh. I go in there and they have the seafood and those big uh, I don't yeah I think it's fr freezer sections that like big open freezers that you can look down into they have seafood in there they have king crab and they have giant shrimps it's like oh my goodness I go in there's like oh drool 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 I want to do a seafood ball again so I'm hoping to do one again here soon uh, oh, excuse me. <sighs> Darn gristles. But yeah, even their fruits and vegetables just look so much picture perfect, basically. Whereas Walmart's Their fruits and vegetables are not horrible. It just, Country Marts looks better. I don't know what the difference is, but I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Mm. Eating cold fried chicken like this reminds me of my, reminds me of my mama. She used to love to get KFC once in a while, and then we had leftovers. Um, so she'd eat the, the leftovers the next day, cold, with just a little bit of salt on it. She'd clean the bones. I mean, that woman, like, the entire bone would be clean. Like, oh, my goodness. She made sure that there was no little niblets left. She got her money's worth, you might say. <laughs> Some of the things she did was just, she was just so cute and funny. Hmm. All right, I think I'm about done for now. Yeah, messy. Messy, messy, messy. The only thing I don't like about chicken sometimes is a little bit messy. Well, I didn't eat very much of that. Make that into something else here soon. So, let me get a drink. All right, I'm gonna get ready to scoot. If you guys are new to our channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell. Let me know if you try this recipe or if you have a recipe that you can share and you know, try it. 
I like trying new stuff. As long as it's simple recipes. I, because of my <clears throat> health issues with chronic fatigue, I'm not able to do, um, how we say, real complicated stuff. It's got to be simple. Because I just wear out so fast when trying to do complicated stuff. I try, but then I have to take a couple hours worth of the nap afterwards. So, anyway, I'm on scoot. I'll catch you guys later. I hope you're having a good one. Crumbs all over me now. Let me stain my shirt. It's not stained already. Hopefully not. Mm -mm. All right. Bye-bye.